Okay, so we've got a couple of buckets of uh, compost tea here. Uh, pretty new to uh, to making compost tea, so I've been trying a few different uh, a few different methods. Uh, the first method that I tried uh, is pretty much what everybody posts to uh, use a uh, a nylon stocking, fill it with some freshly finished uh, compost and to, uh, to actively aerate it with a nice uh, air stone in a three to five gallon bucket. We got three gallon buckets and give it a little bit of blackstrap molasses. That's what, uh, that's what I did for a couple of weeks and that was working out uh, pretty well. Um, but I come from a uh, background in microbiology and I'm wondering, you know, can we you know, reduce some of the unknowns that are in uh, that that are in this uh, culture because that's what we're doing. We're we're culturing bacteria and trying to get the bacteria uh, to do some of the uh, gardening work for us to get the bacteria to till the soil for us so that we don't have to do that. Um, and by just culturing whatever's uh, present in the compost heap, I mean that's you're mostly going to get the beneficial microbes, but at the same time, you're going to get a lot of unknowns in there as well. So, I uh, got a little bit of uh, the stuff at the store. It's an uh, inoculation mixture. and contains um, quite uh, a variety of uh, soil microorganisms. And I'm not exactly... Let's see if we can get you to read that there. Uh, not exactly sure if this stuff works. To be honest, I, I tried to, like I said, I have a background in uh, microbiology. I tried to do some uh, research on Google Scholar, uh, looking at, uh, you know, what is compost tea exactly? You know, has anybody, you know, done a breakdown uh, of what, what's in the microbes that are in compost tea, the different uh, bacteria? And, uh, you know, from, from what I saw in Google Scholar, there's really a, a, a dearth of, uh, of information that's available, uh, at least scientifically. Um, from my own personal experience, I, I've seen a, a big uh, result from using compost tea, but I'd like, to, I'd like to understand what's in the compost tea and, and why, uh, and how we can optimize the compost tea. What if it's just one or two <laughs> microorganisms that are responsible for the majority of the benefit and we're throwing away you know 90 percent of uh, you know of our sugars and uh, material for metabolism metabolism on microorganisms that really don't do us any benefit uh, who, who knows or maybe it maybe it really is the whole ecology the whole mixture of everything and the more diversity of organisms the better uh, it's um, it's something that's really just not been studied very much, uh, and there's a lot of information uh, that circulates ar around on the internet between various websites, and um, without having good scientific studies to be able to go to, uh, to be able to say what's what's what, we really have no idea other than our own personal experience. So, uh, anyways. Uh, Getting around to the point of this video, when I made the compost teas with uh, the typical method with uh, nylon stocking and uh, some freshly finished compost, it didn't bubble up quite like this. Uh, you know, I, I did use a little bit of molasses as well, but it um, they, they did have a little bit of foam at the top. Uh, it wasn't wasn't like this at all, though. You know, there's just a tiny little bit. Now I've done a little bit of my own uh, home brewing, and to a certain extent, this looks like uh, what you see when uh, when you know beer for, or when the wort first starts fermenting when you're making some beer. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, obviously we want these bacteria to be metabolizing. I just I really hope that they're not uh, fermenting in there, uh, which they re they really shouldn't be with the, with the presence of oxygen. Uh, at such high levels and and, uh, and everything, but uh, it's uh, it is interesting. They they really are foaming up uh, significantly with the addition of the um, uh, of a store bought uh, inoculant. So let me know 
uh, what you guys think. Let me know if you've seen this. Uh, the, the tea actually smells uh, neutral. So let's actually get a little closer look here. So this one's actually about 48 hours old. Uh, you can see it's a little darker color on the on the top. Um, not sure what that means. Probably just a little older uh, metabolism. You know, you've got uh, more of the secondary metabolized products being further metabolized. So I don't know if that's what what we're seeing, or just maybe oxidation of the uh, of the foam on top, causing the color change. And then we've got a compost tea that's about 24 hours old and we see more foam on that which uh, going back to the idea of metabolism makes sense because it's uh, going to be in a more active phase of metabolism uh, using up those, those sugars that were freshly added yesterday but that's our compost tea set up here